Back to the Golden Year. On Borrowed Time is another forgotten gem from 1939. Lionel Barrymore plays an old man who looks over his grandson, played by Bob Watson. Life seems to be great until death visits Lionel Barrymore and tells him his time's up. Barrymore, not wanting to leave his grandson in the care of his bitchy aunt, tricks death into a magical apple tree where he wishes for him to be trapped. Not only does this postpone his death, but he postpones death all around the world. Now would you believe me if I told you this is actually a comedy? Yes. Not only is this a comedy, but it's a very clever one at that. It has its heavier moments, but its roots are in comedy, and when it's funny, it's funny. Lionel Barrymore is so damn hilarious in this. He's smart, witty, and old. The perfect combination for comedic gold. He easily has the best lines in the movie. I also love the chemistry between him and his grandson. I could have easily seen a TV show or even a movie series starring these two. Hell, or even just movies reteaming Lionel Barrymore and Bob's Watson. Some of you may know Watson for his role as Pee Wee in Boys Town. Oh, I forgot to mention. Death is played by Sir Cedric Hardwick, and he does a pretty damn good job here. He has a presence that's both eerie and yet magnificent. He and Barrymore have several instances where they exchange dialogue, and it's great. It's kind of like a battle of wits between the two of them. They're both very smart men and constantly come up with clever ways to dupe each other. The film's story never goes where you think it's gonna go. The plot thickens so much throughout the piece that it actually starts to become suspenseful. Again, had this film not come out during the golden year, I think it would be remembered as one of the great comedies from this era. Really, all I can say now is, Go see it. I know I always say that, but if I talk much more, I'm going to spoil the movie, and I don't want to do that. I feel like the little I've said has even ruined it a little. I went into this movie knowing nothing about it, and that's how I wish people would go into this as well. As they say, the less you know, the better, and it's 100% true with this film.